five, four, three, two, one. Old school only is go. <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today we're making a chair. I've got the pooch on standby. I've got the brisket in the smoker. Some hydraulic hamburgers in the fridge. And I've got the spa going for later on. So the story with this one is I've had this um, rear cut for a while. It came off a 53 Plymouth Savoy. And I've been wanting to make it into a chair, outdoor chair for ages. It's a bit tatty and tatty it will stay. And while I gotcha, I don't have any tail lights, so I'm guessing anything Chrysler from 1953 would fit it. Dodge, whatever. Hit me up. So yeah, I don't plan on doing a fancy resto job on this rear end. I'm just gonna leave it as it is and use it as an outdoor chair. We'll see how we go, but the idea today is to build a frame that it sits on, in, and um, slat it up, and then chillax this afternoon. Do you like my hat? Check on the old brisket. What's the temp doing? 130, I guess, Celsius. So, what I've done here, I've made the width of the frame the same distance for the bumper bar brackets, so they'll just screw straight onto there and hold the bumper on. bit of trimming of the actual car part but I got it to fit nice the bumper bar will cover that and then I'll put a number plate there that'll be fine but yeah I'm pretty happy with the way that's sitting now I'll start working on the uh, seat frame itself
Alrighto, so the basic frame is done. We're ready for slats. And at the moment, I should be able to slide this back end off. What a masterpiece. Look at that. Yum. What do you reckon? I think it come up good. My last um, bench seat out the front here was pretty dodgy, so that's uh, gone. And this will replace it. Suits the front of my house. Log cabin. So I can sit here now and get all awkward with my neighbors. How you going? Yeah, yeah, nice day. Yep. Nah, I'm not cleaning up my yard, mate. Cheers. <laughs>